Hey guys, SNR Ballistics here. Today we're gonna do a video over the Eddystone model 1917. This particular rifle was made in 1918, as you can see the date with the barrel here. So this was made towards the end of the first war, but as you can see, it has been re-arsenaled for World War II. We've got our cartouche here for Rock Island Armory. And also uh, the proof mark, uh, Frank something, that's a K, I don't remember his last name. Got our rack number here, number 196. We've also got some other items here. Yeah, these items are just some display items. We got just a World War II M1 steel pot. Doesn't have the uh, front leather strap there, but... Um, sorry, old canteen, web belt. We've got the 1918... 1911 that was re-arsenaled for the Second World War. These are just some display items we brought back uh, out just to go along with the theme of the video, World War I, World War II. And guys, uh, uh, if you know your history on these, you know that they were uh, very popular in the First uh, War. Uh, I believe uh, Sergeant York used this rifle, uh, although he did say he did prefer the 1903. Um, if you notice the looks of it, it resembles a British infield. And uh, I don't know much of the history behind all that. I think it's just kind of America's take on an infield, uh, but chambered in 30-06. Today we're going to be shooting some uh, Winchester Super X PowerPoint. Uh, we just got done with deer season out here. This was the gun I used during the season. And so uh, I'm just going to shoot some of these rounds off. As you can see, we got uh, a new target out there. We're not gonna be shooting that today because it will not stand up to 30 out six. We will be shooting at the steel pipe and that little metal sheet stuck into the rotting pumpkin from our previous video. Also would like to mention, uh, this gun holds six rounds of 30 out six. This is a very heavy gun, as you can see, but with 30 out six, it's pretty soft shooting, not too terrible. All right, she's empty. We'll load up another six and that Houston kind of give his opinion on the gun and take some shots with it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and load up six more rounds of 30 out six. Just like pretty much any bolt action, it's just got an internal box magazine. Again, it holds six rounds of 30 out six. Now I've never actually shot this rifle yet. So, this will be my first impressions of it. Uh, you can see it's got a safety here. That's safe. That's fire. Talk about that peep sight real quick, actually. Oh, yeah. You also have this uh, real neat sight. It's kind of similar to a Buffington rear sight, I believe. Uh, that would be your just standard sight for when you're shooting. Then if you want to go out to farther elevations, it's marked all the way up to 1,600 meters. Of course, you'd have a pretty steep angle. You would use this for your rear sight. Obviously, same front sight. And guys, what makes this uh, rifle real sturdy is these ears right here that they put on to protect this sight. It gives it uh, a real nice uh, durability to this gun. So we're gonna go ahead and put these six rounds through it. See what we can do. Get some impression of it.
There we go. Overall, smooth shooting rifle. I mean, this action is real smooth. I had a little trouble with it there, but just on the close. There we it go. is a cock on close. Yeah, you just gotta be a little forceful with it when you close it. But overall, it's a neat rifle. A uh, nice piece of American history, especially if you're in the military history. An affordable surplus rifle. Uh, it's starting to rain on us here, so I guess we're just going to wrap it up with that. If you guys could just like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, let us know any guns you'd like to see featured in a future video. We'll try to do them. And, uh, yeah, that's all we've got for you today. So we appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.